Welcome to this last video of my Jakarta EE Quad API tutorial. In this last section, I will cover the delete part. So we will add a endpoint to delete our persons again. So let's start with the test. So the test should verify that we can delete a person from our application. And to delete a person, we actually have to create first the person, which we then will delete. So let's create a person and also to make sure the person is actually there. Let's also first verify that we can find it and that uh, this here returns a 200 response. Um, quotes here, so is the same here. And now we have the setup to create a person, and what we now want is like um, a new endpoint to delete a person. To do this again, let's first add the skeleton to our Juxares resource. It will be a delete and it will also have a path variable where the clients can pass which person they want to delete. Again, it's quite similar to the examples above. So for now, let's return here now. So we can compile this, this code. Let's switch back to our integration test. And what we now want is that once we delete a person, um, querying it for it again um, would result in a 404 not found. So let's use this get person by ID here and let's request the status. So the, the setup here is a little bit more than just executing the delete method if we want to properly set up um, our test data within our actual test method. So first create it, make sure the created person is present, then delete the person and then query for it again. And once we query for it again, it should um, return not okay here, but not found. So this is the expected behavior. Let's execute the tests. And it's failing, which is okay, as the implementation is not there yet. So we are expecting 404 here because we deleted it, but it's actually 200. So we can now implement it. So to delete the person, um, let's query for it. So ask the entity manager if there is a person with the given ID. And if there is actually a person, so if this is not null, we can then tell the entity manager to remove this um, person from the database. And the result here in both cases, let's just return OK for now. You could think of um, handling this differently if a client tries to delete a person uh, which is uh, not part of the database he would get a, a different response so this okay is, this okay result here is, is fine for now let's switch back to our test case and if we now execute it again we should see a green test so green uh, three green tests so our last test is also now working and it's working as expected. So now as we have our delete method in place, let's actually make our test setup a little bit nicer and add a cleanup task after each test execution, where we uh, want to clean our database and leave behind a, a proper state for the next tests. So here, as we have also the endpoint to return all, persons, we can now um, loop over each person which is present. 
uh, read entity, it's a generic type, and it will be a list of person here. Let's import this. Let's put this in here. And within this for loop, we can now use the person to actually delete it. So this will now, after each test execution, delete the persons. Let's execute our tests again and see if this infects anything. No, this is good. So with this, we can now also test our um, get all persons or find all persons as we now have a, a clean state after each test. So as the test for this, let's call this should return all persons. And here, let's create, I would say, three persons. Here we don't have to use any randomness as they will be deleted anyway. Let's add three here. And now ask for all persons. And now we can write our assertion that we actually expect three. Again, we have to read the entity. We can copy this here. And this is now a, a list, but from this list, we want the size. So if we now save and hit enter, it should be a successful test execution as now we can properly test our get all persons as we clean up after each test and can uh, add three persons here and again then query for it and see if this endpoint actually returns a, a JSON array containing three person. That's everything I wanted to share with you for the Jakarta EE CRUD API tutorial. Make sure to have a look at the source code on GitHub and stay tuned for the next videos.